So you want to make more of an impact and you want to make more money in your coaching, speaking or consulting business, or maybe you want to get into the business. Where do you begin? How do you get started? Hey, it's Gary Cox and I want to share with you perhaps the fastest track to building your coaching or your speaking business, how to convert more sales if you have a book or if you want to get a book. So we're going to talk today about BOPA. What is BOPA? I'm going to share with you five ways to build your BOPA. And I think number four is perhaps the most important because I believe it's smarter to do one presentation in front of a million people as opposed to doing one presentation in front of maybe 500 or 100. So what is BOPA? You need to borrow other people's audiences. Write in the comments, BOPA. B-O-P-A, you've got to borrow other people's audiences. If you have, let's say, a book that you've written, or maybe you're a coach and you want to expand, let's say you don't have a large audience. I've been doing this for 30 years. So I'm going to have an audience larger than somebody who's been doing it for 30 days or 30 months. So one of the first things you can do is go borrow other people's audiences. And I'm going to go in detail as to what that really means. Ultimately, you're going to find somebody that would like to have you bring your knowledge and your expertise to their people. And then what this does, it does several things. Number one, it puts you in front of an audience that you don't already have. And I think perhaps the best thing is whoever's audience you get with, whoever brings you on, they already have a level of value or relationship with their audience so their audience is likely to trust and like and know you more they're definitely going to trust you more early in the beginning because you've been brought to them by somebody they technically respect or somebody they like or somebody they have been connecting with that they like know and trust all right so let's start off with number one there's so many ways to do this number one would be podcasts great way podcasts are really really big so you can go and find other people's podcasts. And by the way, one of the things I recommend is make sure you put a post out. Put a post out and say, hey, I'm opening myself up in the month of January, in the month of December, or whatever you want to do for some interviews. I have seven slots left or four slots left. And then you get podcasts. So you can interview yourself on that. Another way you can do this is you can do a paid for play. So some podcasts, they make a living charging guests. Now, I'm not a huge pay for play guy and I've ver done very, very, very little of it in my career, but there's times that it's quicker to pay to play than hang around and wait to build a relationship to get to that point. So you have to determine what the return would be on that investment and if you want to make that investment. So podcasts, very, very big paid or non-paid. Another one which I really like are live events. I have made millions of dollars on live events. So a live event can be 10 people, could be 100 people, 1,000 people. So then for you to be invited to a live event, they've got to obviously know about you. You have to have some speaking skills and hopefully you're great at closing because if you can close at the end or during the program, you're going to increase your sales. Now, the way some of this works, you may or may not be familiar with it. Uh, some people will request a revenue share on all these platforms I'm sharing with you. Some don't, some will. It just depends. And you massage the negotiation for it to be a win-win. One of the things that you can do, for example, you can have a link to maybe your book. And when you do this podcast, you offer the person who's doing your podcast an affiliate. So he keeps that podcast going out for years and years and years. And every time somebody listens to their podcast, that your, your affiliate link that you've given them, they plug that on your podcast because it's, you know, it doesn't get deleted unless they delete it. And then every time they make a purchase, one of the listeners or the viewers purchase the book, the person that brought you on the podcast, they get an affiliate. They like that because for years they're getting some residual income. And if their audience is big enough, that could, you know, that could be thousands of dollars a year. And then they like that. Of course, they may want to bring you back again and again. 
Live audiences are also great. I've probably made most of my, well, I wouldn't say most of my money, but large chunks of my uh, income have come from live audiences. And let's talk about number three. Number three would be email, email lists. This used to be big, big years ago. Everybody would uh, trade, you know, hey, put my product or services out that I'm selling on your email list and uh, a month from now I'll put your stuff out on my email list and this is also why email lists today are still very valuable. You want to make sure you're doing everything you can to grow your email list. Find somebody who has a large email list. Um, Chamber of Commerce's people don't take advantage of Chamber of Commerce's uh, as much as they should. Chamber of Commerce, especially if you're doing B2B, business to business, so many of the people who are members of the Chamber are business owners. So if you're an accountant or if you're doing something that curtails to business owners, creating websites, you might be able to negotiate something with Chamber of Commerce's. Every city in the United States has a Chamber of Commerce. Uh, countries all over the world have Chamber of Commerce. This is an international organization. So look for different type of email lists that you can get on. One of my favorite, number four, TV audiences. TV audiences. I can get on a TV show and be in front of a million people and do one presentation as opposed to doing one presentation in front of 10 people or 20 people or 30 people. And in fact, in my Inner Circle program, I show people and I give them the access to over 120 casting producers on every TV show, um, reality show, talk show, you name it. So TV audiences, are one of the best audiences that you can borrow and talk about the advantage of TV audiences just kind of like a podcast or YouTube when I say podcast we're also talking about YouTube so don't forget YouTube as well find somebody who's got a huge membership subscription base and then try to reach out to them on a consistent basis and get on theirs but with TV audiences what will happen and this has happened to me uh, many times you'll get on a TV show and then a year later, it will repeat again. And all of a sudden, you get all this attention and all these sales. So remember, money follows attention. Uh, so TV audiences are really great. Another one you can take advantage of, and I'm going to wrap up here, running out of uh, ink, shout outs, shout outs, shout outs, all right? There are people that you can pay 100, 500, 1,000, whatever, uh, Kardashians, you pay them millions, I guess, to shout out your product or services. And if you have somebody that you feel that their audience would be a great fit for what you offer, this would be a great way to get your product and service out there. By the way, a lot of companies that create fashion, uh, makeup, beauty, one of the first marketing strategies that they tap into is go for shout outs, go for influencers. And also what's really cool, once you do all this, you could be a person who could be an influencer where people are coming out to you for shout outs and paying you for that. So these are just five or six ways that you can take advantage of BOPA, borrow other people's audiences. And when you borrow other people's audiences and you focus, I'll tell you, if you were really committed and you focused on barring other people's audiences for about, you, you stayed heavy on that for three to six months, you could literally quit your job and make a living doing this. Now, watch for the negative stuff that you might put in your head. Well, I don't know anybody. Go find somebody. Instead of I don't know anybody, who can I find? Um, go on YouTube. Just basically go on YouTube and to put in the search the things that you're offering or selling and find other people that are similar to that may, that may not conflict with what you're offering and then reach out to them. Not once, not twice, whatever it takes to get their attention and bring in front of them. This has been a game changer for me, a game changer for me. So remember, you want more success? Bump it. I'm out of here. Between now and the next time we get the chat, you know what to do. And if you don't, you will now. Don't let others rent space in your head. Have an awesome day. Love to see your comments below.